five hours drive out of Adelaide, paleontologist Jim Geeling is travelling to see some of the rarest and most ancient fossils in the world. We're going to a secret location in the Flinders Ranges. This site is so valuable that we have to actually be very careful about who we take in there and who actually finds out about it. We're going to see one of the most fantastic things. It's the place where you can get a look at the very first fossil evidence of uh, complex life on Earth. The area Jim is visiting was once in the ocean. 600 million years ago, that's the only place where life could be found. For a billion years, all that the Earth had seen of microscopic single-celled creatures, the best they could do was to form these domes of slime, which we call stromatolites. Stromatolites were Earth's dominant life form. Were it not for the violent climatic changes triggered by volcanoes at the end of the snowball, they might still rule the planet today. Within a short time after the end of the snowball, we see a revolution in the history of life. The first clue was that microscopic life suddenly gets very much larger. You get large, spiny, single-celled creatures. And then, for the first time, you get these really, truly bizarre creatures, which we believe are the oldest multi-celled creatures, the Ediacara fossils. The Ediacarans may be the most important leap forward in the history of life on Earth, but that doesn't mean they're easy to spot. So here you can see a specimen of Dickinsonia. This mat-like creature is preserved underneath this massive uh, layer of sand. And you see these structures here. If I press this putty, then we can get an image of what the creature actually looked like. You can see the edges of the segments. You can see the tips of the segments. Dickinsonia grew to over a metre long. It's thought they lived on the sea floor, soaking up nutrients through their skin. What we're seeing is a window on the preservation of these earliest animals. We've seen the evidence for the snowball earth, this climatic event which preceded the Ediacaran period. And then the changes since in environment seem to have led up to the evolution of these large creatures, the first that we see on Earth. These are the creatures that gave rise to the life that we know today. The Ediacarans were a gigantic evolutionary leap forward. <laughs> 